It looks like Hobie Cat has met its match. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. Here's what's new. We've got Eric Wofford from Jorgensen's, and he's showing off the Strike Lightning Kayak. Eric, tell me a little bit about this, about the Lightning. Yeah, so this particular one is 12 and a half feet tall. Mm -hmm. It uh, is 94 pounds as it is, as we're standing it up. So it is a little on the heavy side, but that's because it's very sturdy. It has a tri-hole design, so it's extremely stable. It's meant for standing up and casting. I mean, it also has a load capacity of 415 pounds. That's a lot. Yeah. I like it just because it gives you the versatility of fishing you control with it, just using the foot pedals, or if your, your legs get tired, you just switch to your normal paddle. Um, I also like it's just, like I said before, it's so stable. It's even when we're out here and it was windy and a stormy day, you could stand up, fish from it, no problem. Can we spin this around? Sure. This is an actual enclosed housing for a fish finder. You actually keep this plastic piece on, you connect your transducer to it. That way, if you're going across rocks, you're gonna, not gonna knock it off like other brands. So this is the heart of the unit that makes it such a unique kayak, is this uh, propulsion drive system. People have a hard time fathoming how the penguin uh, flippers work. Could you demonstrate this a little bit for us, Eric? Sure, yeah. So these um, posts right here are adjustable to your legs. These cuffs are adjustable to your feet. So anyone, any size can fit in these and make these comfortable while in the kayak. Mm -hmm. Simply, it's just like riding a bike. That's how they work. As you can see, they go flat up against the hull when you go all the way to their extension. Genius. I guess that's how penguins swim. I guess so. Looks like it, anyway. <laughs> It's really a very durable system and very simple to operate. I wish I had been the one that thought of that. <laughs> you know, Eric, this thing really is as stable as you said it was. I was surprised at how little this thing rolled and how little balancing you had to do when you stood up to fish. But let's talk about what kind of storage it has on it. Okay, well it has a mid-deck storage right here. Uh -huh. This is actually watertight. It's just a simple flip lock. I actually have my keys in there right now to keep them safe, but you can put your cell phone in there, GPS, anything you don't want uh, water to get into. Okay, and then what have you got uh, up front? I can see this back area for, which could easily hold a small tent, sleeping bag, yeah, cooler, backpack of food in the cooler. Yeah, so up front is our big front storage. Oh wow. We actually include a tray, so this is really handy because you don't have the tray and you put your stuff in there. It could soon, be in the back. Exactly, it will slide around inside, but this tray comes with it and makes things a little bit easier. So what's the value of having something that's made in America, Eric? It keeps jobs here, you know you're getting quality, and if something breaks, you can get it fixed and repaired a lot quicker. Tell me how they get it. So you can get it at our store. We have uh, several in stock, including a camo option. It's just the exact same floor plan like this, but it's camo. We have it listed on our website for all our specs if you want to look out on it there, and that's www.jhsport.com. Okay, very good. What does it run? This runs uh, under 2,400 bucks, and that includes your paddle and your equipment tray, everything, your seats, everything as is. You get it loaded right out the door. Turnkey and ready to go. Exactly. Okay, just have the tailgate down on your pickup when you go down there, right? Exactly. All right, that's all the time we have for our What's New this week. There's more at your leisure ahead right after this commercial break. Thanks, Eric. You're welcome.